hurt you for God's will for me. Hello and welcome to the podcast. Pastor Frank here. I'm having so much fun with this series that we're doing, this 10-week series on the Holy Spirit living in you and how it changes your life. And we are looking at the uh, first 10 chapters of the book of Acts. We're taking a, a verse from each chapter and seeing how the Holy Spirit was moving in that chapter because the book of Acts is the Acts of the Apostles, but it's really the Acts of the Church. It continues. That book never really got finished because the Holy Spirit is still moving, changing lives, winning souls. And he does marvelous things through us. I believe that we are equipped by God to do the work of God. We don't just do it on our own. We're equipped through the Holy Spirit. And part of the ministry of the church is for the equipping of the saints, that they may do the ministry thereof. And so I want to read to you from uh, Acts chapter 6 about how the Lord changes our position even in the church and in the world to use us even more effectively. So let's read chapter 6 verses 2 through 6. He says, Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples uh, unto them and said, It's not right that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look to you and find seven men among you uh, who are full of the Holy Ghost and with wisdom, and who may uh, appoint unto them uh, this business. Uh, and we will give ourselves over continually to prayer and the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose seven men, Stephen and Philip, and but I, I won't go through the list in verse 6, uh, whom they set over, uh, uh, who they sent to the apostles before them, and they prayed for them, and they laid hands on them. So what happens is these seven men got promoted from um, just you know being in the body to becoming deacons. And sometimes you'll see uh, this at a church service or as a deacon ordination or a pastor installation. But I want to look at one more verse with you. Uh, I want to look uh, at um, this idea of, of change. Uh, actually, when, when you see it, you'll see that, you know, in verse 1 it says, In those days when the number arose, a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews uh, because they, uh, the widows, uh, were neglected in the daily uh, ministration. See? So if things aren't held properly, it leads to division and strife and, and the breaking up of the body of Christ. And sometimes people that want to take the time to pray and seek the face of God and find out what God wants them to do or who God wants to appoint in the church. So God changes our position in life when we are open to the Holy Spirit. And as we walk in this, you know, hands will be laid on us and we'll be prepared and, and we'll do it in the work of the Holy Spirit with wisdom. And so I want to share with you what happened to me uh, in our church and in my private life, separate from the church, at the same time. And I was thinking about this the other day as I was preparing this podcast, and I thought, why, Lord? Why did this happen at the same time? As I've told you, I'm a registered nurse, and I was, uh, I'm was i ordained pastor. And so back in uh, 2010, there were some issues at the church I was at, and it led to me being elected as the senior pastor. Well, at the same time, I was working full-time as a nurse, and someone had quit, and the owner of the company made me the director of, uh, the, the clinical director of the whole home care agency. So at the same time, I become clinical director of the home care agency, and I become senior pastor of the church. And so I began to seek the Lord, and I, I didn't have a release to quit either one. The church was in all kinds of debt. I didn't know what was going to happen, all kinds of a split going on. And the home care agency, you know, was paying the bills and was in need of me to step into this role. So I had these two nice offices. I'm, I have secretaries at both positions, and I'm taking account of the Lord. What is he doing? What does he want of me? Now, when we are walking in the Spirit and the Holy Spirit is leading us, you know, these seven deacons might have thought, well, what do you want me to do? Or do you really want me to be a deacon? You want me to handle? Can I handle this? And I think that sometimes it happens to us to show us that we can handle it. I think deep down in my heart, I always thought, wouldn't it be nice if I was the clinical director of a home care agency? I had worked in home care for 20 years, so I had a lot of experience and I was prepared to do that job. And also, I had pastored already for 30 years 
years and before I stepped into this, or was it 25 years before I stepped into the senior pastor, which I did for eight years. And, you know, God has a way of convincing us through the power of the Holy Spirit that we can do what we can do. And I'm reading my journal now about that time when I was operating in both roles. And excellently, I was, I was, neither one wanted me to step down. But in the end, I had to step down from the clinical director position and just do the ministry at the church. The church was growing and prospering, and, and they didn't want to let me go at the nursing thing, but I said, I can't do both. And I, maybe deep down inside, I didn't want to do both anymore. But I was honored and privileged to do both and concurrently. Amen? But we must be led by the Holy Spirit. We must walk in the Spirit. We must live in the Holy Spirit. So when there is a change in your life and circumstances change, things change, don't expect life to ever remain the same. I'm telling you, it always changes on you. Your kids change, you change, you get older, different things, opportunities, things are happening. Always pray for God to prepare you for the next level. And that's what I want to leave with you today. I want you to pray prayers of preparation. I believe God is doing major things in the earth in this hour, and I want to be part of this great awakening. I want to lead souls to Christ. I want to see this podcast expand and go around the world, and my minute devotional, the last book I wrote, the movie I, I made, and, and the things that are doing, the, the work I have called Fawn, Fighting AIDS with Nutrition. I'm the chaplain at World Medical Relief. I'm wearing multiple hats right now in a different capacity. But I want to say to you that I always pray to be prepared, to be ready, to be sober, to be alert, to be vigilant. And you must be disciplined. You must have the Holy Ghost inside of you through the Word of God. So let me pray a prayer of preparation for you. Father God, you only know the future. We don't know. We don't know what opportunities will be made available to us and what you want us to do. But we want to walk in the Spirit and live in your Spirit and take advantage of each open door and accomplish great things for you while we are in the body so that when we go to heaven, we have an abundant reward awaiting us. Father God, we want to do it for your glory, for your honor, and for your praise. And so I'm asking you to equip each listener with what they need to face the future. In Jesus' name, amen. Now the God of hope will grant you peace and joy. Amen. Believe God. Keep your eyes on the Lord and go forward. Don't be afraid of the future. God's got a plan for good for you. Amen. Please write me at frankjulian5 at gmail.com. Send me a letter. We're there for you. Amen. Tell a friend about the program. Until next week, God bless you.